Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to review a really cool little plugin. It's called Happy Files, and what it does is it manages your WordPress media files. So, why do we need this? Why is it even a big deal at all? Because it seems like such a really small little plugin, such a simple little function. Why do we need it? I bought it and I loved it. Let me show you the average media library. So, this is a typical media library, this is what you get with the default WordPress install. You have a whole bunch of images like this, and if you have a ton of images, if you have hundreds or thousands, um, and you wanna find them, it can be a little hard. You have to type stuff in, you know, you type car, and if the image wasn't, you know, if you didn't put the word car somewhere in the image or the caption or something, you'll never find it. And then, if you have your site for a long time, this will be a mess. So the WordPress, the way you search in WordPress is it's by year and month. You can filter by that or you can search or you can maybe like try to you know go by file name or author or where it's uploaded. But mostly it's kind of a mess. It's, it's, it's very unruly, especially if you've had a site for a long time. You've got hundreds and thousands of files, different images, and you want to find them for whatever reason. Maybe you want to replace them. Maybe you want to change them, change your title, or maybe you're just looking for them, right? So it's very common for me, I upload some images and then I'm looking for it because I wanna show it to a client or to copy elsewhere. You never know, for whatever reason. So what Happy Files does is, I'm gonna go here, so actually let's just close this out so my computer runs a little faster. So here it creates this nice little, little panel on the left and you can create categories, or I like to say folders, but Happy Files calls them categories. So you can create folders and you can put stuff into your folders. So here, I'm gonna go here and let's just try to get all my my media files. Uh, okay, maybe I gotta click here. I just wanna see the whole list. Okay, there we go. So that's the whole list. So we can just, I can just drag these into here and I can also make subfolders, right? So it's really cool because you're able to have your own category and like tagging system, your own organizational system. Maybe you want to go by types of cars or types of animals or whatever you want to do. You can also put, um, you can put media items into multiple folders. So you can do that as well. And then um, also, by the way, it doesn't change, it doesn't break the image links in your existing uh, WordPress media library. So it doesn't change the links. It doesn't, your WordPress media library looks and functions the same. Images stay in the same place, doesn't break the links or anything. You can delete the Happy Files plugin, you can reinstall it, and it doesn't break any of your, your default image functions. So it's really great, it's super handy. The plugin is coded clean, it's, it's very fast, it doesn't slow your website down at all. I love it, it's super useful. Um, so for example, I like to have access to my logos from time to time so I can send it to people for marketing purposes or because I just, I'm just looking for them, right? Or if I replace them, I wanna be able to replace them all at once. Now, this media management tool function is really cool because it's just so super simple, super easy to use. You can apply it to many different websites. But there are other media management tools out there. So why do I like Happy Files? One is because it's simple. Two, because it has a few extra functions. So for example, uh, the direct upload to any category. So this is cool. You can do, I can go here and then directly upload to this category. So it'll go into the WordPress media library like normal, but it'll also automatically go into this category. You can also have images in multiple, uh, it, you can also have images in multiple folders. Also, you can turn any category into an image gallery. So you use a short code, so you use a short code and then you like put in the name of this, uh, this folder right here, this category right here, and then it'll automatically populate that, that page, you know, wherever you put that short code, it'll automatically put those images into a gallery. And then if you change the images in the gallery, you remove some, you add some, it automatically updates that gallery. I think that's a really cool function, right? It's better than having to like jump into your product, jump into your, your post page and then manually add and remove images. I think that's a really awesome, very handy feature. I love how easy it is to inspect and just, you know, get around things. Um, I love this sidebar dragging. So it's really clean, it's really simple. It doesn't feel like you have to load a whole other system. It's very easy to understand. 
Now, there's a few other things in here. You can restrict the categories to only specific user roles, like maybe you don't want subscribers to be able to use it or editors to be able to do it. There's right to left support for other languages. You can import the files from the, your folders from other media management plugins. That is awesome. And then this is really, really cool. You can use it for your post types. So let me give you an example. So I can go here and I'm gonna go to my happy file settings and I'm just gonna enable it for my posts, okay? So check this out. Bam, I go in here and look at this. I can have another way of categorizing my posts. So for example, um, let's say I have different writers, right? I don't, I write everything myself, but let's say I have different writers. So I can put a, you know, a new category called Billy, write this, or maybe I wanna put another uh, category for me that says uh, finish this or or I finish this in October. So there, there's just so many ways. Like, I mean, there's, there's, it's a, such a simple little plugin, but there's so many ways to use it that I think it's so awesome. Now, I just wanna show you the last little selling point. It's only $19 right now. The price is until September 15th. And after that, it goes up to $59, one-time payment. I think it's a bargain, okay? You can use it on as many sites as you want. You can use it however you want, and then it's it, you get full updates. You can also check out the roadmap. There are really cool plans, features, functions that people were requesting, and I'm gonna request some. I'm gonna vote on some of these. So sort by options, more useful listing view. You, you know, like the, I would love um, to show like file sizes, filter images by. This would be so awesome. So, anyways. It's super cheap, you guys. You can use it on unlimited number of sites. I highly recommend you get it. Um, I installed it on three sites already, and it's just so useful. There's just, I mean, even just to manage post types alone, that alone is worth the cost. So get it. I hope you get it. Uh, only if you need it, get it. But yeah, if you have a, a giant, you know, a giant blog site, media site, a giant uh, e-commerce store, I think this plugin would be great for you. So take a look and decide before September 15th.